Nick Brisco's live. And if you, you, and for the people that are going to see this, you guys have to tune in to Nick Briz's lives because D, this guy is ridiculous <laughs> on yeah, his lives. I've seen a couple it, of them. It's always funny. Yeah, they're it's always, always funny. And this is what he had to say. <laughs> I mean, let me see if we can hear it. Uh, let me pull it up right now. A menace to society. Any court, any place <laughs> I go to, I'm a fucking menace to society. And just know that. <laughs> this dude is ridiculous. I'm going to incorporate that in my trailer, by the way. Like, be on the lookout to see that part. But right. this guy is crazy on what he's doing. Like, it's almost like he technically he won in this game of social media. Whether you love him or you hate him, let's say here's the bad thing that it's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people that hate on another man's content or hate on anybody's content. Let's say, let's use Nick Briz for example, because Nick Briz has one of the most toxic audiences of all time in basketball content creating history. I think (laughs) what a hater does, right? Is no matter how much he hates your content, he always wants to know what you're doing. Always wants to know what you're doing. Yeah, facts. No, ma- no matter what. And what makes a hater look dumb is that Nick Briz makes money off of you viewing it. If you continue to view it, he ain't doing nothing else but putting more money in his pocket. Like J. Cole said. Yeah, uh, exactly. What, uh, you clowning the millionaire, the joke is on you. you. You're clowning Nick Briz for doing all this crazy shit, yet you're still going to view his content. Whether you comment on it or not, it's still money in his pocket. You mm-hmm. they when somebody has that effect on you if you're a hater and you don't like their content, they've won. Checkmate. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it this is how it goes, and that's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people that just all they do is just sit on there and hate on somebody else's success. Yeah, a lot of the times the haters be the ones that have the post notifications on and all that. Like they want right. to be the first one. They want to leave a comment. It's really, and it, you know, it's the most corniest saying, hater, I have my haters being my motivators, but like, it's, it is motivating to have a lot of haters and stuff like that. They're the ones who are helping you get the most exposure. They're the best promoters in the game of social media. Haters are the best promoters in social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, for sure. If you got haters, you're doing something right. If you don't have haters, you're doing something wrong. That means no... There's a difference between people hating your content and you getting a big following off of that and then people just not caring about your content. Like, if nobody cares about your content, you're not doing it right. If you have a big following and there's a majority, not a majority, but there's a group that despises your content just because they want to. Some of these some of these people that hate don't even have any, like, real intentions on why they hate. They hate to hate. They hate, yeah. like, I feel like my conspiracy on that is that they're hating because <laughs> they can't do it. Honestly, that's that's my yeah, assumption. a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it sucks that Slim is just so good at jumping high. I can't do it because well, you're 300 pounds and all you're doing is typing on the computer. Like, why he sucks? Mm-hmm. Well, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's money in his pocket at the end of the day. Like, that's the bad thing about being a hater. Like. All you're doing is just benefiting the people that you're hating on. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it sucks. What well, sucks to be them? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they do it. Like I've never like hated someone so much, and I just like have to go look at their stuff every time. Like if I don't like something, like it doesn't even pretty much doesn't even exist to me. Like I never go look it up, go follow it. Like mm. I don't know. Some people are just different, I guess. No. Yeah. And it's like, like they have a, to go see it. Mm-hmm. It's and it's a big majority of people. Like it is a huge percentage of people. And you know, you're 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 always gonna have to deal with that if you're in this type of like thing. Like if you're in like I think it goes with anything. Like if you're running a business, if you're doing a YouTube channel, just anything, you're gonna deal with it no matter what. But just look at it as you're doing something right. Because you those people are probably the ones that envy you and they're just like, I just want to, 
I want to be you, but I don't want you to know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, I, I want to be on this type of level. I want to be at where you're at. I want to know what it feels like to be put in your shoes, but I don't know how to get there. So all I can do is just bring you down to the level that I'm at, or at least try. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's just what it is, I think. The two oh, yeah, hype versus uh, Nick Briz, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, we can touch on that. Look, I'll give a sneak peek of what I'm going to be stating in the video. I don't want to go in too much depth because, you know, I kind of want to mm-hmm. save it, but yeah. I'll, I'll touch on it a little bit. If Nick Briz goes against – if the Savage Squad, right, because the Savage Squad is involved in that. If the Savage mm-hmm. Squad goes against two hype, two hype can't last. 